Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, we will learn about what are the key metrics or KPIs will be used in Agile testing. There are various uh, key performance indicators or metrics normally used in Agile testing methodologies to measure the overall effectiveness and efficiency in the overall uh, testing processes in uh, Agile software development. And uh, using these metrics or KPIs, we can easily measure the overall uh, testing progress and as well as uh, quality of the software plus team's performance also we can measure using these uh, metrics or uh, KPIs. Here are the some of the common uh, agile test metrics normally we use uh, while making uh, use of agile testing. One is uh, test coverage. Here we are going to measure the overall test coverage the percentage of requirements covered by the test cases is the key here. Basically, against how many requirements we have test cases, how many requirements we have tested by using the good quality test cases, that is the key here to measure what kind of test cases we have. And the second one is defect density. Defect density measures the number of defects found per unit of code is also another measure which we normally use uh, in agile testing especially using these metrics we can easily identify the area of code that are more prone to the defect that is going to help us to prioritize the testing effort in a particular area when there is a more defects are coming in a particular area then uh, we have to focus on that area only because uh, we are having a higher defect density and our energy also we have to divert uh, to the area where uh, the application is not stable. Test execution time. Test execution time is very key ingredient especially we wanted to measure like how many test cases we created and how many we executed how much time we have taken to execute those test cases also very key yeah. and uh, we have to measure this uh, test execution time because using that you can easily improve our overall uh, testing resource efficiency and our test cases efficiency also we can uh, bring in as part of this uh, matrices or kpis and the next one is defect rejection ratio also we have to validate it especially defect rejection rate measures the uh, percentage of defects that are rejected by the development team. Uh, defects rejection can happen with the various reasons. The more uh, defects are getting rejected from the development team, that means uh, our testing team is not reporting the valid defects or our testing team doesn't have any proper knowledge about the application or functionality. There uh, we are expecting more collaboration should happen between the development team and testing team. If you bring the more collaboration, definitely number of defect rejection rate also will go down. And the next uh, test matrix is sprint burn down is a key thing in Agile. Sprint burn down normally we are going to measure the overall progress of our testing plus development work as well within that given sprint. If uh, things are going as per plan, then it is good. Otherwise, we have to tweak on all our uh, overall efforts in testing and development just to ensure that we are going to fix the things on time and we have to get delivering the things on time by making use of this sprint burn down chart. And the next uh, metrics we normally use in Agile is test case effectiveness. Test case effectiveness is nothing but which is a measure we are going to do is like number of percentage of test cases which can identify the defect is also very key here. If we write a test case but if that test case is not able to catch the defect then that effectiveness of the test cases won't be there. That is also going to be validated uh, using uh, this metrics that is going to help us to improve the quality of the test cases. We write the highly effective test cases so that uh, we can catch more uh, defects uh, using these test cases and the next one is test automation coverage is also a key matrix uh, where we are going to talk about uh, how much percentage of test cases are really automated and uh, because of this matrix if you measure it properly uh, that is going to help us to bring in efficiency in the overall testing process and also we can bring more automation uh, for various our uh, test cases that is going to help us to in turn to reduce the overall time to execution or efforts to execution uh, uh, 
uh, our test cases via manual testing. And the next uh, matrix would be test cycle time. This is again a KPR matrix. Normally we are going to measure the overall uh, time taken to complete one uh, testing cycle. And uh, this would give us the indication or knowledge uh, where the issues are there and where the bottlenecks normally faced by the testing team and the overall processes that is going to help us to optimize the overall processes plus uh, help the testing team on time so that uh, they can complete the overall testing cycle on time as well. And the next one is release quality. Release quality is also another important uh, quality matrix we normally measure where number of defects found in the production after the release. This is again a key matrix because once we release to the customer defects which come out from the production is very key here. That means the issues which you found in production but we are not found here means we have missed those defects uh, from our environment. That is again gives us there is a lack of our uh, testing processes, lack of validations is there. Uh, that is also can be easily identified using this release quality metric. This matrix is going to help us to identify whether the software meets the customer expectation. If customer expectation is not uh, solved uh, using this agile methodology, then definitely this customer won't be happy and will have more issues, more defects and that may impact the overall satisfaction. These are the, some of the key testing metrics normally we adopt in agile testing. If you guys really like this video, then please click on like button. If you guys are not subscribed, then do subscribe. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.